What's up YouTube, it's Louis here, hope you're all well. We're looking at HBAR today and it's actually given us some very good clues. If you remember from yesterday's update, I was uh, we were actually current uh, at that point below this wick. I was saying if we do close below this, it should signal that we should continue to this uh, descending triangle target. As to validate this target, you need a daily candle close below this wick at 4.7 cent. This is what we were saying in yesterday's update. If you're new on the channel, uh, if you are new, again, please do subscribe like uh, of course turn the notification bell on and use uh, leave a comment to bump up the algorithm so as this was uh, of course below it was looking like it was going to validate the pattern by closing below we hadn't done so yet i think there was about eight hours of the day left when i made the video and um I was also warning you guys, now that you've set this wick down here, this will also act as a support. So even though it looks like we could be closing below this, this will also act as a support to stop you from actually going to this target. And uh, with that daily candle close, you actually managed to reclaim that level. So that's why for me, this strategy is so powerful. We need to realize that everything that happens during the day is market manipulation. And the true result is of course, uh, the confirmation, which is at midnight. So this is, uh, yeah, for me, why um, the strategy is so powerful. It just condenses everything, gets rid of the nonsense and just gives you a candle ju uh, just before I, I go to bed. I think for people in America, PST uh, is about two, two in the afternoon, which is awful. So I'm fortunate for them, lucky for me. So I just check just before I go to bed what the daily candle has done. And that is when you can enter a trade. It doesn't mean every single night you're going to be entering a trade. It just means every single night you need to be checking that daily candle close to see what the confirmation was. And we closed above this wick, which is positive because it's basically stating that we're not going lower. We're going to now try and go up and test the highs. And we've done that with today's candle. But before we went up, as you can see, we actually did go down first and luckily Luckily enough, this was used as support. Now it showed this all in today's candle and we've still got eight hours left. And again, what were we just saying at the beginning? Everything during the day is manipulation. It's not the real move. The real move is at midnight when the candle closes. It's showing you that is the real move because the wicks, look at the wicks. The wicks were saying I was there at some point during that day. So there you go. And then it went away from there. So it's just showing you that what happens during the day it's just manipulation guys so go so if we now try and dissect this candle over here we can see that at first we started heading down back down to this support but again because it's support we need to see now we're on the four hour time frame four hour closes below this no four hour closes below this this is still support and that's why we've seen a bullish hammer over here which um is very very interesting because we've seen a very specific a similar candle on the Bitcoin chart, which again, I urge you all to check out my Bitcoin updates every day, because if you were able to spot what was going on with Bitcoin last night, it would have been a very big clue for what's going on with HBAR. Again, same thing with your other alts as well. You bring on your, you bring over your Bitcoin analysis and you bring it over to your alt. If Bitcoin is showing bullish things at night, then of course, maybe your alts are going to do something bullish the next day if Bitcoin ends up doing so. So going back to the daily time frame. Yeah, we can see it's looking like a spinning top. It's not confirmed yet. So we would need to see another daily candle close above 4.72 cent. Just as a further confirmation, uh, this is holding a support. This is a bullish candlestick. And now we're going to try and break out bullish again. If although this is a bullish candlestick, the direct next day you can go down. You need to understand this. Although this is a sign we should go up, we should be testing the highs and trying to break out. Doesn't mean 100% has to, but it's good signs this, that you're not yet validating this bearish pattern. But again, this purple downtrend, as well as the 20 EMA, this is knocking you down. This is keeping us uh, below, like, yeah, this is a brick wall that we're facing and we're coming into the apex. Can you see where the two lines meet? So very soon a move will be forced and the move should have been forced down because this is a bearish pattern. But if we break out bullish, wow, this is some good signs, at least in the short term, that H bar could head back to about five cent and that from current price, that's about a 5% move as well. So. Uh, if I just get rid of these drawings now, again, I would urge you to check out today's Bitcoin update. We went into a lot of detail about some strategies that I've taught you guys for free on the channel. There's a lot of free info if you're just uh, taking notes and applying what I'm saying uh, in, in, your, uh, what, in these videos into your own charts. And um, 
yeah, we were going over some uh, yeah potential trade that you could have done last night, which again we've seen on the four hours. Well, in the last four hours, so this would have closed at about twelve. Uh, 12 uh, mid midday and you can see that was holding the support so this could have been a buy trade for you as you've seen a big push into the support where you did not close below you were below the wicks are everything guys just like you're wicking up here right now okay I was there but I'm pushing away from it and in 38 minutes I'm going to confirm this so this is going to still move if in 38 minutes it's below this you're going to be trapped between the purple and the orange Do you understand close above the orange you're trapped between the orange and that and yeah, if you close below the, the 20, this purple one, you're trapped bet between this red and uh, this purple. So, and yeah, of course, this is on the four hour time frame. What you can also do is uh, use the fibs. This is going to show you that this we could be saying that this is a potential dead cat bounce. So it's just when you put the fibs at the top of the dip to the bottom and you just need to wait for the price to go up and then you draw out your fib levels which are lining up with the emas look where the 20 is the 55 look where the 618 is uh, sorry look where the 20 on the 50 fib and the 55 ema on the 618 fib and yeah this is just a key area of resistance it's the most retraceable levels of the fibonacci which is what we say every single day on uh, on the channel and we also say you can come all the way to the 786 and still go lower so this is going to be an example going forward that I'm, uh, I'm going to be using in my bitcoin updates i'm going to speak about this so the expectation now is to actually continue lower that's what really should happen um, but again that's why we're waiting for the daily candle close Again, even if this is a bullish daily candle close, which is a signal we could go up, I've just told you that we can actually go lower. Although this is telling us we should go up, uh, we should actually break out and head up to five cent and then potentially up beyond five cent to about five point two, five and a half cent. This will only happen if yeah, we're holding above this red line and breaking out of the 20 EMA. So that's what that's what we really need to see going forward. Of course, we, we, it looks like it wants to go up on the daily time frame, but the lower time frames are showing us we're running into this golden pocket and what really should happen is continuation lower. So if we go back to the four hour and zoom in into the specific candle, maybe going on the 15 minute time frame, something like that. Again, by the time I'm, this video is going to come out, it probably doesn't matter anymore. But if you hold this area as support right here and we start to head back up, uh, yeah, that would be amazing because... Although this is something called a dead cat bounce, and this is what should happen, you can create something called the reversal wave, which is when you do hold the golden pocket as support. Break above the 786. We did that already where we hit the 786, but now you need to confirm this as support and break the 786 again. This is a big hint. We're going to hit $5, a uh, 5 cent. I wish $5, 5 cent guys. Okay. Until then, there's the risk. We fall back under this gold box and continue lower. So, it's all about the daily candle close. I know we've gone down to the lower time frames, but yeah, let's well, let's wait out for this daily candle close. It's a signal that yeah, if it were to end end like this, where we do see the close above 4.72, uh, 4.724 cent. Yeah, we're gonna try and break this 786 one more time. So of course, if the daily candle close is above this red line, and we go to the four hour time frame, and this this red line yeah here. So we need to see the daily candle close above this. So essentially these four hour candles need to just keep printing above this. If we start to see four hour candles printing below this again, yeah, we're likely that we do continue lower. So, oh, sorry, let's, sorry, 15 minute. Let's go to the 15 minute time frame. On the 15 minute time frame, we don't want to be closing back under this red line to going lower. We want to now come down to it and hold it and break above that, okay? so. In the next eight and a half hours, you need to hold this red line here, 4.7 cent as support for the next eight and a half hours. And if you hold this as support for the next eight and a half hours, and that's on the 15 minute time frame, you're gonna get a, a lot of candles. So if you can do so, that's where we're gonna try and break above the 786 again, and then head towards five cent. If we fail to hold this red line in the next eight hours, this red line here, if we in the in you know on this we're on the 15 minute time frame so many 15 minutes are going to pass in the next eight hours and if in eight hours time we are below this red line chances are we're going to continue to understand that guys because that would be a daily candle close below that and we've just been saying a daily candle close below 4.7 cent 
would validate this descending triangle target and this is how we invalidate it constantly stay above it this is what we need to see going forward thank you guys for tuning in if you want me to teach you all of this step by step i can sit with you step by step and do 10 hours worth of lessons include a course in that uh, free of charge uh, that will teach you from zero knowledge and then we do our 10 hours as lessons and you also get my discord group chat included message me for a discount on that and message me for a 50 percent off discount on the course if you just want the course that includes the chat that's all over my twitter the link to my twitter is down below and i'll see you guys over there and peace